All you got to do is listen to a person. Listen. They give themselves away about what comes out of their mouth. Well, you just messed up. You opened up your mouth. Listen. Let's turn to Genesis 8.20. We're talking about the altar tonight. Turn to Genesis 8.20. We're talking about the altar tonight. See, it's deliverance at the altar only when the altar been prepared. I'm going to show you tonight how to receive a true foundation. Don't walk up to anybody's altar. Lord, deliver me from my enemies, Lord. That's good. 
But the, the word say you come to the altar in the spirit of worship. Worship. What is worship? Oh, Lord, I thank you. I can't make it without you, Lord. Yes. I can't do it without you, Lord. Yes. worship you, Lord. I don't ever want to let you go. You're the best man I've ever had. You're the best friend I've ever had. I don't know. Lord, I couldn't make it 20 minutes without you, Lord. If you left me out of my life, that's your spirit. Churches don't even know how. They don't even know that the altar got to be uh, 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 prepared. 
Because they think, oh, that's the altar. That's the holy place. It's all right. No, the altar has to be anointed. And when the altar, when you anoint the altar, how do you anoint the altar? Well, the, the pastor of the church, or if he delegate, now just like Sister Teresa, Sister Teresa, she handles the altar, so her role is to anoint the altar. So how does she anoint the altar? Her, her role is to anoint the altar. Father, I loose the anointing at this altar right now. I loose the anointing to flow. I loose right now people, everybody that come up here, that they will receive their deliverance, that they will receive healing, that they will receive miracles, that they will receive deliverance.